Hello everyone, my name is Jessie Mew and welcome back to Stardew Valley. <laughs> Here's our cozy little home on a cattail farm. It's a nice, beautiful sunny day again and it looks like we actually have a letter to take a peek at today or okay, an advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. <laughs> affordable it may be, Pierre, but I still don't have the funds for it. I believe it was, what, 2,000 gold? Definitely not there yet. We are definitely getting there, but uh, still quite a ways to go. Maybe we'll be a little bit closer once we finish growing our tulips and our beans, and I think we still have a couple parsnips thrown in there too. After that uh, nasty crow came down and ate a couple, we replaced them with these here, which, speaking of which, in the last episode, we were finally able to get the recipe to craft a scarecrow, so that is exactly what I'm going to do after I finish watering my plants here. I am going to grab whatever materials we need to make a scarecrow and plop them right down so we don't have to worry about that nasty crow anymore. Let's open up our crafting menu and, okay, we need 50 wood, one coal, and 20 fi fiber. Fiber. <laughs> so let's just uh, take a peek in our chest here, grab our wood, our coal, our fiber. Thankfully, we have everything we need. We're definitely going to need to uh, gather up some more wood, though. It seems we need a lot of wood for a lot of different things here. <laughs> okay, we have our scarecrow now. Let's see, where can we... Let's just plop him down right here for now. I think that'll be good enough. He'll be able to... Uh, protect all of our crops, hopefully. <laughs> and let's uh, put the rest of our materials away so we don't take up any space. We don't have the backpack yet, so uh, we wanna have plenty of space in our pockets here. And there we go, now we have a scarecrow. Look how cute he is. Oh, he talks, what? I haven't encountered any crows yet. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could talk, Mr. Scarecrow. That is amazing. Okay, let's uh, fill up our watering can down here before we forget to do that. And, oh, and of course we need to grab our little reward here for making our Scarecrow 100 gold. Now we're almost at 1,000. We're almost halfway to a backpack, but I'm thinking it might be a good idea to grab a couple more seeds or something. Um... Oh, I think that's another leak up there, so I'm gonna grab that real quickly, too. Oh, two leaks. Oh, very good indeed. And are those dandelions? Oh my gosh, I didn't know we could come up here. <laughs> dandelions, yes. We needed dandelions for, uh... Who was it? George wanted... Oh, he, he wanted daffodils. Is that what I have? Oh, it, it is a daffodil. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am having so much trouble today recognizing what these things are, but okay, that is exactly what we need. A daffodil, not a dandelion. And what are these wiggly little worms down here? I keep seeing these as we walk by them. They seem to shake and wiggle and can we do anything with these? Can we like, can we, oh, we can smack them. We found a prehistoric hand axe. Oh, no way, it's an artifact. Okay, the curator of the local museum might want to know about this. That's right, because uh, he kind of doesn't have any artifacts now, but uh, Lewis wants to talk to us instead. So let's see what he wants to say. Oh, hi there. Hi, Lewis. What are you doing here? This is the community center, I think? What an eyesore. <laughs> I agree, Lewis. All these holes in the roof. Oh, must be terrible in there. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Even the clock is broken. Oh my gosh, it used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah oh, well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Company membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Oh no, Lewis. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> Sigh, here, let's go inside. Oh no, I'd hate to see him sell this to Joja. Oh no. Surely we can fix it up, right? Oh. 
Oh gosh, maybe not. <laughs> Missing floorboards and... Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Oh my gosh, did they build this little hut? <laughs> How cute is that? Uh, kind of a dangerous place for your kids to be playing, but regardless, this place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a little alien! Oh my gosh, it looks like an apple! He's waving away! Hi, little guy! <laughs> what? Oh, Lewis can't see him! Only we can see alien apples. What's... <laughs> what's the matter? Are you ill? No, Lewis. No, I swear, there was a little apple there! He was waving to me! <laughs> he was adorable! You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. It was definitely not a rat. Look at him! That's not a rat at all! Oh my god, he's so cute! He's so cute! <laughs> You're worrying me, Jess. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're like, no, we're not crazy! There's really dancing apples in this place! Hey, I'll keep the place unlocked from now. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Definitely not a rat, Lewis. <laughs> Why don't you believe me? Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Strange indeed, Jess. Strange indeed. So can we still go in here? Yes, we can. Okay. He unlocked the place for us. It's so spooky here, but where's that apple? Is he in here? Oh, I, I I can't go in there. I'm not I'm not small enough. I'm too big. Oh no. Uh oh little apple guy, where are you? Alien apples. Oh! A golden one! Oh, but he disappeared. Oh no. Did he leave this behind? What is this? Oh dear. Okay, can't speak the alien apple language. Definitely can't. <laughs> uh oh gosh, I hope somebody can decode that for us. Uh Oh, did they leave their homework here? <laughs> this is a terrible spot to leave your homework. Gonna have to take that back to uh, Jazz and Vincent for them. Let's see, bulletin board, nothing there that we can read. A giant safe of some sort. Uh, everything is so run down. Little mushrooms growing out of the ground. <laughs> oh, wow. I bet we'll have to fix this place up. We definitely don't want Lewis to sell it to Joja. I would be very, very sad if Joja took this over. So we're going to try our hardest to, well, work with those little apple dudes. I, I don't know what they are, but I'm, I'm sure they'll help us fix it up. That's probably what they want to do too. Uh, oh, it looks like we have, okay, this is the quest for visiting Gunther at the museum. We need to go give him that artifact. We might as well do that now, it's probably a good idea. Um, oh, before I do that though, I do want to check the calendar because tomorrow, there it is, Lewis's birthday, so we have to remember that. On Sunday, the 7th of spring, we need to go visit Lewis and give him his uh, birthday gift. Oh, look at those bubbles, what are those? That's very strange, can I throw my line in and see what that is? Do I have to be like right on it, I wonder? Hmm. Fishing is very tricky in this game, and it also takes- Oh, oh, I missed it. Yep, it also takes quite a while, and then you end up missing it, and you waste your time, but that's okay. We're gonna go straight to Gunther, and we're gonna see uh, if he likes our prehistoric axe here, which I am holding on my head. Beautiful hat. Hello, Gunther. <laughs> He's so sad. Oh my gosh, I would be too, though. That's just terrible. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Terrible. Someone just stole it all away, ran off. He's probably a billionaire now. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Here you go. My my little, uh, my new hat. <laughs> my prehistoric axe. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Oh no, Gunther. We, we want to donate this to the museum, right? Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Interesting items, ooh. 
I wonder what that'll be. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I definitely will, Gunther. <laughs> In fact, I am walking over there to do that right now. I'll give you my prehistoric... <laughs> there it is, my little hat. My prehistoric axe. Donate to the museum. Oh, so we can actually choose where we want to put this. That's pretty neat. Let's, uh... Let's put it right here for now. Oh, and <laughs> we can move it around too. Okay. Very neat. Here it is. Prehistoric hand axe. One of the earliest tools employed by humans. This crude tool was created by striking one rock with another to form a sharp edge. Very cool. And oh, of course, we can collect... Wow, 250 gold. That's the best one yet. <laughs> now we have over a thousand. Yes. We are going to have to go get some seeds, though. We're, we're going to need to uh, plant some more so we can keep the funds rolling in. So let's uh, head over to Pierre's shop. I hope he's open on Saturdays. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, Willie. Got to talk to Willie first, though. Walking through the graveyard. That's a little bit weird. Uh, if the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the stock shop. Wait, what? <laughs> expand the shop stock. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tongue-tied today. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Pierre? Yes, Pierre's there. Let's talk to Pierre. Um, let's see. What else can we grow here? We haven't bought any cauliflower seeds before, so let's buy a couple of those. Some potato seeds. Four potatoes. Oh, we might as well do four cauliflowers, too. Why not? And some kale, too. There we go. That's good. Now we have... Uh, one of every seed here. So at least one of every seed, I mean. We'll plant it all. And it looks like there's some new things here now, too. I don't remember this being here before. Wallpaper and flooring decorates the walls and the floor of one room. That's interesting. I don't know if... <laughs> carrying around my, uh, big bag of seeds. I don't know if we really need to worry about decorating our house just yet. I am looking forward to finally you know, upgrading our house and everything, but one step at a time, I guess. <laughs> Emily, I like making my own clothes, but it's not as easy to get cloth. And it's such a long trip to the city. Well, I wonder if we can help her with that somehow. We'll have to keep our eye out, see what we can do, but I almost forgot. We need to give George that daffodil we found. <laughs> not dandelions, daffodils. So where did he live again? He lives with Evelyn, I know that, so they're probably uh, in that house that- Oh, look, Willie's fishing! <laughs> that makes sense. I'm glad that Willie's fishing. Uh, oh, where does Evelyn like to go? There's Evelyn. Maybe she's like walking through the bushes. Very sneaky, ninja Evelyn. Uh, <laughs> where is she gonna go? Was this their house? Maybe. Let's uh, talk to Pam as she's- Oh no, she's mad at us again. <laughs> Make sure your boots are clean before you go stomping around in my house. It's annoying to clean a mess. You should know that by now. Sorry, Pam. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she really hates us sometimes. Okay, so let's give George this daffodil. <laughs> oh, you brought me the item I asked for. It looks perfect. Oh, look how happy he is. That's the first time we've seen him smile. <laughs> Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Oh, did he give it to us? He must have, right? Oh, okay, we have <laughs> 90 gold. There we go. Oh, look at that. They're walking home together again. That is so cute. I love how the villagers here all have, like, their specific routines. Uh, Marnie, <laughs> that was a little rude, just walking through Penny there. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? I remember that tower, spooky tower. One time I heard this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. I would avoid that place if I were you. Oh, I would too, Marnie. There's gotta be something in there that we uh, we need to check out. Why would they have it there <laughs> if, if there's nothing to do? This is such a small town. You can't avoid meeting everyone. We did meet everyone. We did that in the last episode. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. Oh, you don't wanna know, Penny. You don't wanna know. You smell like grass. Thanks, Jazz. <laughs> Thank you. I, I mean, it's not a terrible thing to smell like, right? Dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. Oh, yeah. That's right. Their dad was um, overseas somewhere, I think, right? Because he's a soldier. 
Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if we'll get to meet him. And here's Sam. Hmm, I just remembered that I was meaning to do something, but I forgot. <laughs> this happens to me all the time. Poor Sam. And uh, Sebastian. What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. What are you thinking about? What do you want? I don't know what you're thinking about, Sebastian. Very, very mysterious. So let's uh, head back to our farm and plant these seeds in there so they can start growing. Hopefully our little scarecrow will be able to protect all of them. <laughs> we might need to make another one or really rethink our little farm plan here. But I will do that a different time. Right now I'm just interested in putting our seeds in the ground and... Uh, it looks a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, very, very shortly we will be uh, redoing this plot of land. But for now, we're just rolling with it. Oh, I got some clay. <laughs> we're just rolling with it for now. And I know it's late, but I feel like I should probably chop down a couple of trees too because I do have a lot of energy left and we do need a lot more wood. So yeah, let's, let's get our trusty little axe out and let's chop some wood. I will be back when I'm done, I think, because this this can take a while. <laughs> Especially if you can't see what you're doing here. Oh, something just popped out of the rock that I uh, mined here, but I, I can't pick it up yet. So let's uh, throw our stuff in here and go see what that was. That looks interesting. Little, uh, a geode. Ooh, what do we do with those? You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Oh, that's very interesting. So uh, I'm going to keep that on hand, actually, and we'll do that when we wake up in the morning after we visit Lewis, of course. Our very first uh, priority is to go visit Lewis. So let's tuck ourselves into bed here, go to sleep for the night, and uh, let's go see Lewis because it's Lewis's birthday. It's the seventh of spring, and that means that... Uh, Lewis is a year older today. We have <laughs> so much to do here. Oh my gosh, I see we have little things to harvest and uh, we have a letter to read. Oh, what is this? My sources tell me you've been poking around outside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Resmodius wizard. <laughs> a wizard? Okay, so that's that's the wizard's tower, I'm assuming, that we uh, took a peek at a couple episodes ago. Oh, that's interesting. So he actually wants to go meet us now. And we grabbed a parsnip and a potato, so <laughs> that's good too. Let's, uh, I, I guess we could give Lewis that parsnip for that matter. Let's go, uh, let's go see a Lewis on his birthday first. Okay, here's Lewis's house here. Um, is he home right now? There he is, Lewis. Happy birthday, Lewis. <laughs> I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. Wow. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think it means I'm doing my job well. I'm sure you are, Lewis. <laughs> I like being mayor. That's good. That would be uh, pretty awful if you were mayor for 20 years and you hated every moment of it, right? <laughs> well, happy birthday, Lewis. Here's a little parsnip from us from a Cattail Farm. A birthday gift that's very kind of you. I love it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, this is kind of like the heart system on uh, Harvest Moon. All the old Harvest Moon games. Once you, uh, once you started becoming good friends with people, you would get different color hearts or we have two out of ten right now and this little dot down here turned green so I guess that means we're better friends with him now he liked our gift so much that he's uh he's willing to call us a bit of a better friend than we were before so that's great I'm so happy that he liked that I really thought he would because he seems very invested in cattail farm and what is a better way to show him that we're doing well for ourselves than giving him one of our very first crops? <laughs> Looks like there's another quest here. Yes. I need a Joja Cola for a project I'm working on from Sam. Actually, we have a Joja Cola in our chest at home, so we can go grab that later. But very quickly, I want to go and bring our Geo to the blacksmith. I guess we could talk to Alex first. Hey. <laughs> what, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Okay, so I guess we won't talk to Alex first. Fine, Alex. He was over here somewhere, I know that. Right past the library. There we go, I hope he's open. Yeah, <laughs> what was his name, Clint? I think so, let's see, process geodes. 
Okay, just place your geodes on my anvil and I'll give them a whack. The price is 25 gold per geode. Ooh! Oh, is that like an amethyst or something? A nickelite? Nickelite? <laughs> I don't really know what that is. Um, what can we do with this? This is interesting. A mineral. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate to the museum. Oh, wow, we can actually give this to Gunther. That's pretty cool. We'll have another little, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? An artifact? It's a mineral, so let's, uh, let's give this to Gunther. Donate to the museum. Okay, so we can decide where we want to put this. I wonder how many there are. Uh, let's put it down here. And I guess we can hop over there and uh, read about it. Just like our, what was this called? A prehistoric hand axe? <laughs> uh, Nicolite. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> the delicate shards form a tiny pink meadow. Oh, that sounds nice. So I, I guess it must just be kind of like an amethyst, some uh, crystals of some sort. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis is doing farming of his own. <laughs> He's digging around in his garden for his birthday. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh gosh, and we almost forgot to water our crops. What are we thinking? <laughs> Let's water these guys up. Oh, it looks like I have just enough water. There we go. There we go, I watered all of my crops. I'm going to fill up my watering can again. And let's grab our Joja Cola, which we caught in, uh, what was it, in the river or in my pond or something? <laughs> my pond that is completely full of garbage. Where did Sam actually live? I think it was in one of these houses, wasn't it? Maybe the blue house? Yeah, this is his room, but he's not home, so he must be out somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Where could he be? He's usually by the river, isn't he? We found him by a bush one time, just standing by the river looking at the clouds. There he is, he's actually in the same spot. <laughs> Hi Sam, up, oh, shaking the bush again. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? It is a nice day and it's a nice day for some Joja Cola too, apparently. Hey, thanks a million, Jess. I should have known you'd be the one to take the job. <laughs> You're welcome, Sam. We're actually completing quests now, which is very nice indeed, because uh, the first one we accepted for Haley to catch a sunfish didn't go so well. Really didn't. <laughs> we could only seem to catch trash. Uh, so let's grab this reward from the delivery. 75 more gold, not bad at all. We are definitely, definitely doing better for ourselves now. Um, and I did want to take a peek here because it looks like the next one, the next birthday we need to worry about is Vincent's, which is on the 10th of spring. Vincent's birthday. So we need to start thinking about what we would like to give to Vincent for his birthday. Hmm. <laughs> That's a tricky one. I mean, what, what would a little kid like for his birthday? Uh, probably not a parsnip. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. Oh yeah, because she said it was hard for her to get cloth for her clothes that she likes to make. You'll need a loom though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. Okay, we are definitely gonna have to keep that in mind because if we can get a loom after we get some sheep, which is probably, you know, very far off in the future, but still, then uh, we can give her some cloth. And I'm sure she will be very, very happy that we uh, we would do that for her. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. As kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. Oh, I love gathering up seashells, even in games. <laughs> we're gonna have to go by the uh, beach and grab some more, in fact. Hi. Oh, do you have fun working on the farm? This is the <laughs> first actual question we've been given here. Um, actually, yes, I do have lots of fun working on the farm. Well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Maru just wanted to get to know us a little better. That's good, because a lot of these people seem like very, very suspicious of us. They're like, I, I don't want to know you, Jess. I don't know who you are. Just, you know, carry on, go away, go farm your stuff. <laughs> Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. We're doing pretty good for ourselves, Elliot, actually. We are doing very good indeed. Look at this, little uh, wiggly worms again. Let's see what's in here. Stone. <laughs> I would assume that when I hit worms, I would get worms. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> so we get like stone and what did we get before? I don't even remember. 
Very strange, though. There's got to be a way to actually get worms for bait while we're fishing, right? I mean, you would think Willie would be selling it, but he's not. If you purchase a high-quality fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle <laughs> to the line. This is exactly what I want to know, Willie. Thank you. Thank you, Willie. Bait causes fish to bite faster. Tackle can make your job a lot easier when reeling fish in. Well, that would be very, very helpful. Because like I said, it is super hard to fish in this game. Like, <laughs> super hard to fish. You wouldn't think it would be. I'm also quite interested to see what this is going to turn into later. I mean, it looks like a, a farm, or not a farm. <laughs> it looks like a barn, maybe. Some sort of barn that we can build. I'm sure Robin probably is going to have her uh, hand in that. Oh, <laughs> I never noticed that the background changes when it's night. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the artwork in this. Uh, I, I don't know why I keep thinking that the map is the crafting center. It's definitely not. So let's see, we have a wood fence. We have a gate, we have cobblestone path, um, a campfire. Oh, that would be pretty good to give us some light, I bet. Um, of course, our scarecrow, basic fertilizer, wild seeds, field snacks. We have some wood paths, gravel paths. Hmm, what kind of paths would we like to do? I feel like we should really save our wood. I'm going to use a little bit to make some torches, but... Uh, you know, we, we kind of want to save our wood, I think. So let's not make too many wooden things. Um, let's put that away and let's just light up the area a little bit more. Um, where can we actually... We can't put the torches, like, on the house. It has to be off here somewhere. So let's just put one right there and one right there for now so we can kind of uh, see our house a little bit better when we come in at night and hmm it might be nice to put some paths in here or something I don't know I don't know I, I do want to change the layout of my farm so I might wait on the paths um campfire yeah let, let's make a campfire <laughs> why not put this back I mean that'll, that'll look nice right here won't it little campfire we can make a uh, little campground here <laughs> And can we light it? We can. Oh my gosh. That lights up everything. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> it's getting really late now though. So we're going to head back inside, tuck Jess into bed, and end out the video for now. So next time we're going to go meet the wizard here as our journal tells us to do. Thanks to that uh, mysterious little letter we got earlier in the day, we're going to go meet the wizard who will tell us about those apple alien adorable little creatures. <laughs> so that's what we'll do next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you then. Goodbye.